All right, so what I'm going to do now is carve this a little bit more. So maybe if I turn the cake this way, you can already see it slanted like this. And I'll just cut a little bit more off. And I think I'll just kind of leave it like that for a second. And we'll talk about the top part, okay? Now, I usually just do that out of the top, the more board part, out of a foam core because it's... Um, it's light in weight. I will be covering it with rolled fondant, and it will sit at an angle like this. And I'll show you how to cut that in a minute. That looks pretty good. Okay, so this is an 8-inch cake, and I just kind of guessed on this, and this is a 10 by 10 inch piece of foam core. So I just took black foam core, because that way, if, if it's a black hat, sometimes you don't have to actually cover the bottom with fondant, and that makes it a little bit lighter. Um, but it's easier to cover the black with the school colors, usually than white. White will kind of stick out like a sore thumb. So I just measured this and did a 10 by 10 square, cut it out, and then I, I just kind of popped it on here to see if it looked like a good size because it should be oversized compared to this. Okay, so I'll just pop, kind of pop that off to the side. Um, now what I want to do is at the base here, trim off this cardboard like this. And you always want to do this on all your cakes, even if it's just a regular round cake. Usually the cake boards are a little bit larger than the cake. You want to cut those off because when you go to ice it, that way you can cover the uh, cake board and then transfer it to your finished cake board after that. Okay. Apparently they can hear me. Good. They can hear you, yes. I, 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 oh, yeah, Michael was just talking to Cindy. That's what you can hear. Yeah, it looks like some people can see it, no problem. Other people can't see it. Some people can hear, some people can't hear. Um, this is as good as we can do and keep it free. So we're going to do what we can <laughs> As good do. as we can do and keep it free. That's you true. like that? <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're going to, you know, do yeah, what we can. And it's okay. not working for you, obviously. Just, you know, we're, gonna, we're recording this whole thing right now. So as soon as, uh, as, soon as we're done, we'll, we'll upload it and you can watch it uh, right after this, but now. <laughs> It's kind of more fun when you're just going, oh, maybe I can see it. Okay, so now I just want a larger cake board just so it's a little easier for me to ice. So I'll just pop it on here. Just take some regular buttercream icing. Always make sure you just stir it up a little bit. Plop it on. Quick question. Kind of, uh, question? Of, what, no what, questions. I know, I know. What's up with that? What type of cake is that? It's a yellow cream cake. So it's like a yellow cake, only it's a... Call it cream cake. It's got a lot of butter and um, eggs in it, but you can use uh, any kind of cake really. Just make sure the biggest mistake people make with carved cakes is that they, <laughs> this sounds funny, but that the cake's too fresh. Like you just baked it that morning and then you're trying to carve it. Well, yeah, it's going to fall apart on you. I mean, this cake was baked yesterday. I froze it overnight. Um, it's not frozen now as I'm carving it, but a lot of times when I carve, I do like the cake to be frozen as I carve it. Okay, so I'll just keep popping this on, starting at the top. This is going to be covered in roll fondant, so it's just a crumb coat. It's okay if I see some of the cake through it, but you want to try to get it as smooth as possible because the fondant will mimic what's underneath it. Any more questions, Michael? Not a sponge cake. Sugar, butter, and egg. You're still back on what kind of cake? What kind of cake is? <laughs> Yellow cream cake. I always recommend. Uh, well, Yummy Arts uh, or Cakes Made Easy actually has a lot of great recipes in the Cakes Made Easy. Is it one or two? The butter cake. So that would be similar to probably the one we're using. So that's a good good recipe. I'm sure most of you have that that book. 